the Sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the central plaza first. We can only get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Tallum Medical School. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. Was it? After crossing the central plaza, turn right at the first corner. If Efreet were here, I'd never have to be drenched like this. school. Mr. Eldon? Is that you? Wh what's going on here? I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her, too. I'm authorized to use force if necessary, but I don't want to hurt you. But wait, just hold on a minute. We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. So much for that. It looks like they're not listening. Mr. Eldon! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have my orders. Jude, I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Then we'll do it the hard way. Go on, get her! Bye, Jude. Forgive me for all of this. Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. It's just that... I just wanted to... Why are 
Aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh, who are you? Save the chit-chat for later. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I... Listen close, kid. The military issued your warrant, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you're an ex-marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face... execution. What? Execution? Look at them! Come on. <sighs> I hope you're sturdier than you look. Military's doing drills or something on shore. We were just getting out of their way. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? Um. It's Alvin. Huh? That's my name. You said that you're Jude, right? Uh, yes, sir. And this is Mila. Hang in there, kid. That captain needs to lay off a bit. Is he planning to grill us the entire voyage? What do you expect? We don't have any sort of identification. Speak for yourselves. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. Look, we're leaving Fenmont Spirit Climb. You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you save us? What's in it for you? Well, cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. Charge us what? I'm nearly broke. Same goes for me, I'm afraid. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? Rich relatives about to croak? Nothing on me. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high price either. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier, but you sure don't act like one. <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people. For a price. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. Charity work. Wonderful. <sighs> Are we there yet? It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. 
Although it feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is hardly what I'd call exotic. Huh. Hey, there's a map. Let me check it out for a bit. Brave kid. The way he plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, right? He insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. Either way, he's still acting like an adult. North of here. Hmm. So? You leaving now? No. Alvin, you must be well versed with a sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? The four? Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. So you won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well, there's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven, right? Let's take a look around. Hey there. You've got a request, right? How about letting us handle it? Oh, you're mercenaries. Oh, perfect timing. What kind of request? Someone's got a problem with monsters. And we get paid to solve their problem. Oh. So by taking on these jobs, you get the reward and I get the practice. Right. Everybody wins. Well, except the monsters. Okay, hit us with the details. Some monsters we've never seen before are lurking near a lake west of the Sea Haven. A lot of people depend on that lake for water, so those monsters have become a real nuisance. I'm looking for someone to exterminate the beasts. What's the reward? Cash, of course. You heard the woman. Thoughts? Sounds fine to me. Fighting monsters will be good training. Excellent. Now these beasts are no pushovers, so please watch yourselves. About your sword training, the monsters aren't just going to stand there like training dummies, you know? We should go over some basics first. I appreciate it. Ready your sword. Well, that'll do. You have my gratitude. Shall we go? Wait, Jude. Take a moment to consider your situation. You don't have to stay with me anymore, you know. Uh, right. Now that we've crossed the border, it'll be a while before any pursuers from Rashugal get here. What are you suggesting? Just that he still has some time to think things over. Sorry, I'll make up my mind by the time you set off. Okay, very well. Let's go and complete that request. You thought you were doing the right thing. And now you're on the run. That's a pretty tough lesson for a kid your age. Yeah. But I brought it upon myself. This was surging with mana when they activated their so-called Lance of Kresnik. So this must be the key they used to arm it. Do you want something? Whoa, hold your fire. 
I come in peace. Can't a mercenary have a friendly chat with his clients? Damage is fine. But when you want to chat, you needn't hold your breath and sneak up behind me. Sheesh. You make me sound so unsavory. Do you berate poor Jude like this, too? I don't intend to berate anyone. That was never my intention. Do try to be gentle with him. Boys can be so vulnerable. That's a surprisingly tender sentiment. That's what it says on my business card. The mercenary with a heart of gold. Those are good words to live by. Although, with a motto like that, I can't imagine you'd live very long. <laughs> Not the type to sugarcoat things, are you?
Let's see. What are you up to? Just trying to organize all of my notes for my thesis. Those in the books at a time like this? You sure are studious. Yeah, probably a waste of time. I'm sure I've already been expelled being an X-marked criminal and all. Ah, cheer up, kid. If I get a chance, I'll testify to the military and the school on your behalf. Shouldn't be hard to make the case that you're just a poor kid who got sucked into this. Thanks. But... Aren't you a wanted criminal, too? Ah, that. I guess I did flee along with you. So if we get captured, I'll testify for you. I'll tell them that you're nowhere near as shady as you look. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. shining mine too wait you two have orbs too great we should try linked combat what's that lilium orbs are handy things they let you sense your companion's intent that's a huge advantage in battle you can coordinate your thoughts to pull off combination attacks we call this linking sounds great but how do we do it well, try it and see for yourself focus your consciousness into the lilium orb Okay, it's time to flank them. Attack. I can sense Jude's next movement. Hey, watch your back. I'll help. It's time to finish them off. I think you're ready to learn some linked arts. Let's go, Roger. Final nail. Let's finish them all. Go, Roger. Final nail. You're in their track. No ready when you are. Demon fist! Take this! Demon fist! Also protect her! Demon fist! Demon fist! Burn! Victory born from cooperation and friendship. Not bad, right? Yes, I quite like it. I feel much better knowing I'm not fighting alone. <laughs> right there with you, buddy.
I think there used to be a town around here. Want to take a peek? But we haven't completed our job yet. Come on, school's out. Your homework doesn't have a due date anymore. When you accept a request, you can take it at your own pace. Is that the way it works? That's the way it works. The whole reason you took the request was to pay my fee, right? If you see another opportunity to make a few bucks, feel free to make that the priority. I had been planning to get you paid in Niakara. That's so? Well, you're the client. At the end of the day, it's your call.
shoulder. There! 
Those must be the monsters we're supposed to get rid of. Indeed. They certainly don't look like the normal fauna for this area. All right. Let's get the job done. Watch a pro in action. You're finished. Let us move onward. You okay? I can't complain. No better training than an actual battle. You got that right. Let's head back to Alati Sea Haven and make a report. Starting to look pretty good with that blade. Hmm. I do seem to possess an aptitude for sword fighting. Let us move onward. 
I won't let anyone down. Wave 
come forth. Wow. 